going on everybody uh saturday back out in the garage for a little bit um just out here chilling uh went and picked up some parts this morning like i was saying in last video um so i'm gonna kind of show you what i got we're gonna start up here so i picked up some fenders look at this sweet brown fender nice and brown from a 79 and then i also got this mint fender right here passenger fender i have the trim piece for there too okay also um i managed to pick up the original fender spats for this car these are actually from this car um as well as um the a pillar trim these are the actual pieces from this car um the guy i got the parts from um he parted this car out before so he still had some of the stuff laying around which was kind of nice also um picked up the spoilers from him you notice how i said spoilers with the s um something i've always wanted to do um not the oem stuff well the one is but you'll get the idea i haven't installed the the spoilers yet because i still have to drill holes and stuff we're gonna do that today so here it is the svo spoiler with the lx spoiler i've always wanted to have this spoiler now this spoiler needs some work um because it's cracking in a few spots it's not the original spoiler it is a fiberglass remake of it so um but yeah this is kind of what i wanted to do this does have the third brake light in it, which I don't mind. Um, I do have some more plans for this spoiler. Um, I do have another spoiler coming without the third brake light, but this is my test spoiler for something else, another idea, idea that I have, which you guys will see eventually as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some cardboard, probably this stuff I use on the floor. We're gonna do a template to help me drill the holes to get that mounted in and then um at least sitting flush and then uh we'll start trying to get everything lined up the way we want it and then we'll come back i used the cardboard i made a template as you can see for the spoiler right here just out of cardboard and then we just put it uh, we just put it on here um kind of line it up where it kind of needs to go and then um what we do is I put the holes, I pressed it on to the spoiler and then cut around it. So then we have the holes where I can mark. So when you come off, see the black marker. So this is where I got a drill. Then we're gonna use my Vigu, uh, I don't even know what they call it for, um, let me find it here. I have, and so I'll use a regular drill bit for uh, just to start the holes. Then I have the, I don't even know, oh, here it is. Then I have this, and this will make the holes bigger, and that'll give me room to play. And then once that's done, we'll have to do some underneath holes in a couple, in a few spots, because uh, when they don't have the holes, when they have a no spoiler, they don't come with any holes up in here. So we're just, we're gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> so that's what's happening, yeah. I drilled out the spoiler. It's a little rough under there. <laughs> I had to oval it out pretty good um, to get it centered. Um, but we'll solve that issue with uh, some washers and things like that. Um, and then we'll put the rubber grommets in. But, um, sorry, my hands away. But I have it mounted and I'm just gonna show you kind of what it looks like right now. It's not bolted on, but so there's the spoiler. It's on the car, sitting flush. So you can see the SVO spoiler. This is, um, like I said, guys, this is something I wanted to do for a while. Um, I've always wanted a SVO spoiler. I like the factory ones because the way they join here, it's like smooth. So this, um, it's not, 100 percent but it's not horrible at the same time i can rock this until i find a factory 
uh, SVO spoiler that somebody's going to part with. Um, this fiberglass spoiler, it's going to need a bit of work um, to fit nice. Um, you know, it's been beat up and tossed around a little bit, but there's nothing that I can't handle with it. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking at right here, guys. They will be painted the same color as the car. So red, I'm not going to keep them black. Um, so that's kind of going to be how it looks, right? So it's, uh, it's old school, you know, I like it, right? It looks pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I do have something else planned for this spoiler, um, which we'll probably see in the coming weeks as I start developing it. Um, but it'll be a backup. I might do what I'm doing with this spoiler and the SVO spoiler. We'll see. Um, so uh, with that being said, uh, I want to get um, the door mounted back up. I know this is a kind of repetitive thing, guys. I want to get the door mounted back up um, and start getting the fenders on it. The fender on that side. I want to start bolting this stuff down. Get the front end bolted in. Get the fender spats on and uh, just see how everything lines up, you know, and kind of get, you know, we're getting there, guys. It's, it's pretty good. We're almost like once everything's on, I got to fix this fender a little bit. It does have a little spot right there, but for what I paid for it, I can't complain. I'll patch that up later. The other fender, like I said, is mint and it's actually off at 85. So it's pretty good. So yeah, so I'm going to get the door mounted back up. I, I got to put the striker back on and we're going to get the door mounted up and then we're going to start trying to get these fenders bolted up. I think I have to adjust the bottom body seam for this fender. I think it sticks out a little bit. Um, and, oh yeah, and I gotta pull these old bolts out of here, which is nice, because there's hardware, yeah, uh, to get this mounted. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, and I gotta get the, the tab welded on for to hold the, the fender in place also. So I gotta, I keep forgetting about that. So let me know what you guys think about the, the SVO spoiler. It's something I always wanted to do. Uh, let me know your opinion and, uh, you know, drop it in the comments and uh, we'll be back once the door is mounted, okay? Got the fenders on there, sort of. The front clip kind of lined up a little bit. It needs some more tweakage. Um, I still don't know if I'm going to use this fender, but I got it anyways. As long as everything lines up, um, I'll be happy. Uh, if we go around... To the other side here i'll show you what the other fender looks like on there so i got the other fender on there it's the front is bolted but the back isn't bolted we have to make some adjustments on the doors um, and things like that for our gaps the fenders this is all part of the game guys is making sure everything kind of lines up the best we can um without uh having the gaps too horrible. Like if you look right here, it looks horrible, but we can, this all can still come back a bit, right? So if I pull on this, you'll see how it gets closer, see? So it's just adjusting the door, adjusting everything. They got a lot of play, a lot of movement. So that'll be in the coming weeks as I start lining everything up for body work. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Just making sure everything fits appropriately and nicely. And, uh, you know, just so it's pretty nice. And then uh, we'll go from there. But all in all, not too bad. That's a pretty nice fender. Just that one spot on it. And uh, so pretty much all I need now is a hood. And uh, we can start lining everything up and just block sanding and I still got some more tweaks to do on the quarter panel um and I gotta finish working on the hatch but like I said it's coming together slowly you know so um we just gotta take our time I'm glad I got my own fenders that because I, now I can start bolting stuff on and uh you know, making sure everything fits 
nicely, lines up nicely. Everything will get bolted in perfectly and we'll do all the lines and then we'll start doing block sanding the bodywork and things like that um, and go from there. Somebody told me that I could use a front fender lip for the quarter panel. So maybe if I don't like how that turns out, maybe we'll just take, we'll cut this fender up a bit and use the lip on that quarter panel. I don't know whether it's true or not, but you know, maybe we'll try it, right? So um, what else is happening? So that's all that's pretty much happening right now. Um, I'm trying to think of better videos and stuff to kind of keep you guys coming back um, to keep you interested. Um, it's getting tough, right? We do have a new project that has arrived. Um, it'll probably be in next video. We will reveal that. I don't know how you guys are going to feel about that project, um, but it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, well, that's it for today, guys. I'm just going to tinker out here, have some drinks. And if anything else comes up, I'll video it. If not, we'll catch you on the next video. Okay, guys? What's going on, everybody? We are up at the shop today. Um, doing a few things, dropping some stuff off. Um, we're going to be pulling the GT500 out today. We're actually going to do a little bit of... Uh, gender reveal burnout for Mike and Lisa. Mike is the guy that owns this car and the Seacan Notch. Um, him and his wife are having a baby. So they're gonna do, we're gonna do a gender reveal burnout with this car today. So that's why we're up here. A um, Couple other things going on, but nothing major. And then um, after we leave here, we're gonna head down to um, Brian's place. There's a new project that has arrived that Brian picked up that we're going to be working on, but we'll be revealing that one in the next video. So um, stay tuned. Um, we're just waiting for everybody to get here, and then we're going to make this uh, this burnout happen. So stick around. Okay, Mike's going to do a test burnout, and then we're going to set it up. Cleaning off the aftermath. Let's keep the pink. Keep the pink. Yeah, we were in Mexico. Quick trip. Quick trip to Mexico. 